houses and cars underwater, thousands of trees down, and more than 40 people killed. Our very own Mark Johnson is quoted as calling it, quote, one of the top 10 severe weather events ever. Tomorrow marks the 50th anniversary of the deadly storm. News 5's Amanda Van Allen found several Northeast Ohio residents who still remember that devastation very well. July 4th, 1969, a day burned into the memories of Northeast Ohio residents forever. I was in Avon Lake at my grandmother's house and my sister and I were looking out this big picture window and um, we saw this grass swirling around in the front lawn. Kim Campbell says she remembers her grandmother's next words clearly. My grandmother said, let's go into the basement now. It was just before 8 p.m. on Independence Day when 80 to 100 mile per hour winds slammed into Lakewood. This just as Tom Sinko was driving to the fireworks show. When the storm came, I put the kids on the floor of the car and like an idiot watched what was going on. <laughs> and of course, glass was coming out of windows. The damage was felt all across Northeast Ohio, but especially here at Lakewood Park, when hurricane forced winds came rolling in and sent over 100 trees toppling down. This just as thousands of people gathered right here to watch the fireworks. Several people were killed from the falling debris, some of them just kids. But things didn't stop there. The storm made its way south to Akron and Canton, slamming the area with 10 to 14 inches of rain. Cars and houses were underwater, and even more people lost their lives. The Vermilion River overflowed, and there was actually houses and boats stuck up against the bridge. And a lot of the boats and stuff from the marinas couldn't get out into the lake, so they smashed up against all the bridges because the rivers got up so high they could, there was no place for them to go. Ray Hatch and Teresa Helen Hatch remember the flooding well. They met just a few days after the storm and married later that year. So for them, 1969 is truly unforgettable, even 50 years later. Had you ever seen anything like that since then? No, no, nothing to that extent. Amanda Van Allen. News 5.